Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Sport Track 327 VIK. This is a beautifully laid out bunk model. This particular model we're going to go over is in the brownstone interior. Let's start off right here in the main living area. You will see you have dual opposing slides, which really opens up our kitchen space, allows for a center island here too. Right over in the super slide, you see you have the dinette, easily large enough for four people to comfortably sit and have a meal together or play a game together. And it also drops down into a bed by simply removing the two legs, putting the table right here along the rails, and then taking the back cushions and putting them on top. Also, you'll see you have good storage options underneath each side. The one side here, you have this very large full extension pull-out drawer. The other side, you have a door which swings to the side, allowing you easy, uh, easy access to anything that you store underneath there. You'll also see you have large windows all the way around here, letting in a lot of natural light. The other thing I really like about Sport Trek is they make these cushions in-house. And what they do is they actually make them reversible. So that way, if you get tired of the brownstone look, you want to switch things up, you can go ahead and flip it over and have leather here. The bottoms, you can do the exact same thing. The reason that's really cool too, especially on the bottoms, you know, if you have, uh, you know, younger kids or grandkids are going to be staying with you and they're not quite the cleanest eaters yet, having the leather on the bottom can be great because it is super easy cleanup. That way they're not ruining your cloth. LED lights up top for great lighting here at night. You actually have LED lights uh, throughout the entire ceiling which are very nice because they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. Big skylight here too. This does have a shade which we currently have shut for video quality, but you can certainly open that up to let a lot of natural light flood right in here during the day. Additional storage right up top in the slide. You can see that right here. And then right down below is your extremely comfortable theater seating. So this is one of my favorite parts about this setup. It's very rare that you can have theater seating directly across from your entertainment center, especially when you have a large bunk unit. So I love the fact that they were able to make this happen. Both seats here do recline, so you can kick back, take a load off. You have some cup holders here, and also you have a storage right there in the center for your remotes. And as I had said, directly across the way is the entertainment center. You can take a look, nice big TV there. You'll see you have a multimedia center right down below. This unit's not just a radio and CD player, it's also a DVD player. So you can pop a movie in there and be able to watch it. And underneath that, you have a fireplace. Cool thing about the fireplace, not only does this look really nice, especially at night, but it is essentially a big space heater. So if you're sitting here in the chairs and it starts to get a little chilly, you know, and rather than uh, cranking up the heat and burning a bunch of propane, you can turn this fireplace on. It'll do a good job of helping warm me up there. And then right up top, you'll see you have some additional extra, uh, extra storage. So maybe if you have DVD collection or something you want to put up there, uh, you can go ahead and fit it right in there. Let's take a quick look at the kitchen, then we'll head back into the bunk room. So this is one of my favorite parts. Look at this. They have a massive pantry. You know, they did a great job utilizing this space. They could have pushed this entertainment center back here, but instead by pulling it forward, they give you all this pantry right here. And on the other side, on this other back wall, we'll see when we go in the bunk room, they give you a nice wardrobe in there too. So definitely great utilization of space. Right over here is extra prep space. You can see that right there, three burner cooktop. So, you know, if you need to uh, cook a couple items, you certainly can. Then right up here is an electrical outlet. So if you want to put a coffee maker over here, uh, you can do that. There's a couple different places. There's like a little bar you can put one to, but you know, this is probably one of the better spots in my opinion of where you can put that. Uh, window there, obviously for natural light, LED for nighttime. Here is your hood with a light and fan, microwave right up top, and some additional pantry storage next to that. If we take a look underneath, right underneath the cooktop is the oven. If you like to do some baking while you camp, you'll be all set in the 327 here. And underneath that, large pull-out drawer, which is perfect for your pots and pans. Right over to the side, you can see that. More pots and pans. If you want to put some Tupperware in there, you can do that. You know, again, more food, whatever else you want to stuff in there. You can never have too much storage in a kitchen. Let's take a quick look at the center island here. 
So this is a, your main prep space, you know? You have the space to the sides, and they also give you the sink top cover so you can utilize this whole thing. It's almost flush mounted because they use a seamless countertop here, uh, which is really nice quality. And the seamless countertop also allows them to undermount the sink, again, for that nice clean look. So double equal uh, stainless steel sink here, and you have a pull out high rise faucet to really make washing and rinsing dishes a breeze. Also, the bottom of your sink top cover is cutting board quality. Well, both sides are, but I recommend using the bottom. That way, when you flip it back over, the top still stays nice and clean because again, you'll probably be leaving this on a fair amount of time for doing some of your prep work. Right underneath, look at that. They give you enough room for a trash can. You have to love that in a manufacturer. I hate having my trash can hang out. And anytime they give me a spot to put it, I am happy. Right here's a little drop down tray and then three full extension ball bearing drawers running all the way down. Uh, oh, another thing of note, this is kind of cool. On both sides here, this is, uh, you have hidden storage. So it looks like it's just, you know, a nice finished cap, but take a look at that. Both sides actually open up. You'll see you have storage on both the top and bottom. So that's a great place, you know, to hide some of your snacks, maybe put your Oreos in there, your chips, things like that. Uh, also, right up front, you do have an electrical outlet. So again, if you need to plug things in there, uh, you have the capability to do so. Right over here is your Norcold fridge freezer. Nice and big, eight cubic foot there, so plenty of space. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Norcold brand as well. I definitely, uh, personally, I do like Norcold brand. Right here, again, additional electrical outlet. So if you have a smaller coffee pot, you may be able to fit it here. As I mentioned, I personally like it over there a little bit more. Uh, but you know, it's just a nice little uh, bar hutch area that you have. Some additional storage right there up top. Both of these drop down. They have struts built in, so they're not just gonna you know, fall down and damage your cabinets or anything. And then additional storage all the way along the bottom. So not only do you have a huge kitchen in here and your theater seats directly across from the TV, with an outside kitchen, which we'll see a little bit later, but they have managed to give you four bunks in here as well. The top bunk is definitely the largest. You'll see it is nice and wide. So if you need to fit two kids up here, you can possibly do that as well. The bottom here is a little bit narrower because the other side is your outside kitchen. You'll see you also have a built-in ladder. I like when manufacturers do this too. It doesn't cost them very much. And you know, a lot of times it's your uh, smaller kids that wanna sleep on the top bunk. You know, it's still really cool and it's hard for them to get up. So having that ladder right there uh, is definitely nice. At the head of both the beds, you will see uh, both the top and bottom bunk here have an LED light as well as dual USB ports. So if you do have older kids or, or younger kids, whoever may be playing on electronics, this is a good side for them to have because they have access to those ports there. Right up top, you will see you have a couple ducts for AC here as well as a vent. So if you just wanna you know, get some air circulating back here without running AC, that is an option too. TV hookups are right here, so you can mount the TV right there on the wall. That way, you know, all four beds here can get a decent angle. Bottom bunk here may struggle a little, uh, but either way, at least three will get a very good shot to the TV. Window right across the back here to let in some natural light. Electrical outlet right down here. That's important too. You know, that way the bottom bunk can really use it. Maybe the top bunk too, but uh, certainly who's ever sleeping on the bottom will be able to. This top bunk does fold up and out of the way. Pretty simple, folds up just like so. Locks in on both sides here. And then the bottom bunk is your standard jackknife sofa. Cool thing about this though, is take a look underneath there. So you have great storage. And if you see, there is a huge table under there. And that's what these are for here. So not only do you have the four bunks, but you also have an additional place where the kids can eat. You know, if uh, you have a lot of kids in here, they probably can't all fit at the dinette, set this up. They can eat back here. They can play games back here. It's really cool. And then this does obviously drop down into a bed as well. just like your standard jackknife sofa. Right up here, I pre uh, briefly talked about this when we were outside. I said there was a wardrobe in here and look at that. You get great hanging space, some shelves here too. Very rarely are manufacturers, you know, do they have room in the floor plan to be able to put in a wardrobe. So I definitely really appreciate when they can. The bathroom of the 327 has two entrances and exits. One into the main living area, the other one right here into the master bedroom. Right in between is your foot flush lever toilet with a porcelain bowl. That way it's easier to clean than your plastic. You know, it just kind of shows you some of the quality that Sport Truck is putting in their unit. Right across the way as we open this guy up, look at that. Beautiful linen closet in here. Plenty of space for 
towels, washcloths, your extra soap. If you want to throw some toilet paper in there, whatever else, uh, plenty of room for it there. Neo angle shower here. Uh, I really like these doors. They're the ones that are in the roller track. And the reason I like them is because when you open it up after showering, all the water that is on the door goes down into the shower pan rather than having a door that swings when all the water goes all over the floor. As far as space, I'll give you an idea here. I'm six foot. As you can see, I have plenty of room here. You know, I'm not hitting the ceiling. I'm not very worried about it. If you're a really tall person, you can stand underneath this big skylight and that will give you even more room there. You also have a hand wand in here to make it nice and easy to wash and a couple of shelves for your shampoo uh, or body wash. Right over to the side, this is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You can see you do have storage in there as well. Right down below, uh, you have your sink. And take a look, the countertops match the ones in the kitchen as well. You know, still that nice seamless countertop there. Electrical outlet. Tank monitoring panel is hiding out in here too. That is something you want to pay attention to for, you know, you need to check all your tank levels, uh, turn on your water pump, things like that. And then right underneath, you have some additional storage. In the bedroom of the 327, you can see right in the center you have your walk around bed. Uh, now, Sportrek does something kind of unique with their beds, and I, I really like the idea. If you look at the base of the bed here, at the foot of the bed, look how much space you have to be able to walk through. The reason for that is this is a little bit short of a queen bed. So what they do in order to add that length is they give you this foam piece right here. What you want to do is pull the bed down just a little bit, just enough room uh, so you can put that foam piece up at the top. It'll give you that couple extra inches back and give you the full 80 inch length bed. That way if you're a taller person, your feet aren't hanging off. But again, during the day, I like being able to take that out to give you all this walk room here. On both sides of the bed, you have hanging space, excellent wardrobes there. You can see the hanging rod going across. Shelf right down below here too. Now for outlets, they've done something very unique. They actually put them behind the wardrobe. You see both sides have a shelf there, so it's really easy to get to. You can put a glass of water there in the corner without having any fear of spilling it. Uh, electrical outlets again on both sides for your cell phones or if you have a CPAP machine. And one side also has dual USB ports. Then going across the top, you see they have some additional storage there. Again, it's quite usable. Up on the ceiling, you will see a vent, windows on both sides. You can open those up for some ventilation. This one behind me here is also an emergency exit in case you need to quickly bail. Hopefully you never have to use it. Also right up above the window right here is where they put a TV backer in the wall. So if you want a TV in the bedroom, this is where you will install that TV mount. And then the connections for it are right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Sport Trek 327. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and simple to hook up or disconnect from your tow vehicle. It's simply touch of a switch here to raise it up or down. You'll also notice there is a light on the front. That way if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, it gives you some added visibility. Right behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with a nice cover here. Very easy to get to those tanks, just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door and you will have access down and in. And then behind that a little bit further are your rails for your battery there. Coming up the front is some black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Right up top, Sport Trek has put this really cool, almost three quarter cap on here. Uh, gives it a really nice front, uh, really nice look on the front end. You'll also see they have inlaid some LED light strips there as well. Those light strips are controlled by a switch here in the pass through. When you come around to the side, you'll also notice this unit is prepped for solar. Uh, this is Furion brand and most of these solar brands are fairly proprietary. So if you want solar, you'll want to get the Furion uh, panel. And then you can go ahead and plug that in right there and it will start to trickle charge your battery. The pass through itself, we take a look inside here, you'll see how nice and open that is. Very large. There's a switch I had mentioned. You also see next to that an LED light and a battery disconnect. It's generally the sign of a little bit higher end travel trailer when you have that disconnect, uh, but it is really nice to have. That way you don't have to get down in there and you know constantly climb into your battery box. Just flip a switch to kill all power there. Um, the door itself here is also magnetic. You can see that right there. So it's super simple to put up. You have a covered hinge too, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. But I like the fact you can just set it and forget it. You don't have a plastic clip or anything that's gonna snap off if your kids walk by and try to slam that shut. 
Shoot underneath real quick, a couple things I do want to talk about under here. One is the frame itself. If you look, you will see this is a huck bolt frame. Uh, the advantage of huck bolt over a welded frame is that generally when your frame welds out or, or rusts out, the number one place it starts to rust is at that weld seam. So by eliminating that weld seam, you uh, greatly reduce the chance for it to start rusting there. Also, if you ever do get into an accident, a huck bolt frame is easier to repair and replace than a welded one. You also see the jacks on here. These are BAL Low Pro jacks. These are way faster to set up and tear down than your standard. Uh, you know, you're probably looking at about a third of the turns to move that up and down, which is great. Because, you know, you don't want to spend all your time setting it up. You want to be able to sit back and relax. Getting into the RV is very simple. You have three foldable steps here with a foldable easy grab handle as well. Uh, you know, that way you have good control from the first step all the way in. And again, you can see the first step's nice and low. So if you have bad knees, you're not gonna, you know, hurt yourself entering or exiting this RV. If you take a look up a little bit further, you can see the power awning. Not only do you have one awning on here, you have two awnings. They put one right here on the slide as well. That way, you know, half your awning isn't eaten up by the slide. So this basically whole side of this is all awning coverage. The other thing I love about these awnings is they're upgraded carefree of Colorado awnings. You can see that they don't have arms coming down. They have the horizontal arms on there. And so just touch of a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. Both of them do have LED light strips on them and they have wind sensors. So that way if it gets too windy, you don't have to worry about it. You know, you leave, a storm rolls in. Once these start bouncing, they'll roll themselves right back up. Now, if you're at a spot where you're gonna expect some heavier wind and you don't want them to roll up, like if you're going beach camping, something like that, that is an option you can shut off inside. Let's come on back a little bit further here. If you take a look at the uh, wheels right down below, you will see their aluminum alloy wheels. Not only do those look great, they also won't rust and help prevent corrosion. And they are nitrogen filled tires as well, which will help hold your tire pressure for a longer period of time. Right in the very back is your outside kitchen. I had mentioned this had one when we were in the bunk room and I love having an outside kitchen. Uh, you know, this trailer is a little bit higher, so if you're shorter, you might need like a step stool or something to be able to cook here. Uh, but you will see it is very usable. You have a two burner cooktop here, the sink off to the side, nice little faucet, you just plug right in there, just pull it out when you're done. Up top, you have a multimedia center with speakers. So you wanna listen to some music, awesome. There you go, that's how you do it. Also, this is hooked up to the TV because this is a DVD player too. So if you want to watch a movie, throw it right in there. You can watch a movie outside here. On both sides of the TV, you see you have good additional storage. Perfect for you know maybe some solo cups, something like that. And then right over here is your refrigerator. That way you have a place for your condiments and some of your additional beverages. Also, you will notice that the door here kind of acts uh, again, as awning coverage, so you know this help will help provide some shade. Or if it's you know sprinkling out, light raining, that will cover you there as well. When you come around to the back side, a couple things I want to talk about here. Uh, let's go ahead and start on the top. Actually, we'll work our way down. So the first thing I want to talk about is right here in the center, and that is backup camera prep. With this prep, it is super simple to have a backup camera installed. All I have to do is buy the Furion camera, and at that point is literally a, a harness. It's a plug and play. Plug it in, you're good to go. That makes it a lot less expensive to have a backup camera installed. Also, right over here, you have your ladder. Uh, it's a foldable ladder, so to fold this down, you do have to drop your rack, which I'll talk about that in a little bit. But once that's down, you can then fold this ladder down. That way you can easily climb up onto the roof. I do recommend getting up there at least once or twice a year on any RV just for basic inspection. If you don't want to get up there, uh, there yourself, you can always feel free to bring it by American RV here. We'll climb up there and inspect it for free for you. Right here, uh, I'd mentioned the drop down rack. I love this uh, for a couple reasons. One of the reasons, and a lot of people don't know this, but if you attach things to your bumper, whether it's a spare tire or a bike rack, whatever it may be, that will void your warranty from a lot of manufacturers. That one year warranty they say it comes with that you know will prevent, uh, prevent it from any defects and any kind of issues when they build it. By simply installing a bike rack on the bumper, that can avoid the whole thing. Because this comes from the manufacturer, obviously this is covered in the warranty as well. So 
This is cool. When you drop this down, you can put totes on here. You can put wood on here. You can put bikes on here. It has this little bar in the front that folds up so you can hook up those bikes. It is just a great system. Definitely an excellent thing to have. Another thing that you can't really see, but underneath, this one does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So that way it helps keep some of those uh, varmints out a little bit easier. Uh, and also if you are camping where it's colder, then uh, you know that this is heated underneath there so you don't have to worry about your tanks or lines freezing up on you. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Sport Trek 327 VIK. This one has the brownstone interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.